Today we're going to make a waste oil burner out of a four inch diameter dog food tin, like that, and a sweet tin. This could be round, any shape you want. This is just the one I have. Here we go. Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If it's your first time here and you'd like to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, and a ton of other DIY projects, you could start now by subscribing and click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, so today we're making a waste oil burner. We're gonna make it out of a dog food tin and a sweet tin or a biscuit tin. So that, that's the deal. Really easy to make, um, it, but it's only for prototyping. So look, I want to put 15 holes in this tin. The di diameter on this thing is 100 mil. And we know that pi is 3.14, so it's 100 times 3.14. And then you want, you know, 15, so divide that by 15. Right, so that gives me about 20.9 or something like that. So I just worked it out, uh, put a load of dots around where I want to drill, and I'm going to drill two rows of holes. Now, the way I want to do this is there's the top end of the tin. You know, it's got a top, and the bottom end is where I fed the dog from. <laughs> right, so what I want, I want it in that position, right? Now, with my setup, all the air for combustion is going to go up into the hole in the base of this and out sideways. So we're gonna drill the holes. We have two rows of 15, so 30 holes to drill. Here we go. So there's my tin. You know, you can see through it. And the top here is solid. Now we want that on purpose. So what we want is for the dog food tin to come up through a hole that we're gonna make in this, right? And the holes here is where this tin gets its air from. And we're gonna drop oil into the moat around this tin. I'll show you in a second, here we go. So the handiest way of making a hole in the base of this sweet tin is literally put it on your table, stick the dog food tin over the top and score a line all the way around. Now to get this started, I'm just gonna stick another hole in this and use that as a start point for my scissors. Here we go. So we're just gonna drill a hole. Now I haven't tried this before. This is a first aid scissors and they're a sweet tin. I've, I've put a hole in it and I'm just gonna try it now. So if this works, <laughs> it can go to video. If not, I'll find another way of doing it. So, ah yeah, look, lovely. Let me show you. So there's my scissors and there's my sweet tin. Yeah, it's doing a lovely job. Right, I need it on the table so I can finish it. So maybe you can see this on, better on the other camera. So there we go, look, we've got a hole done. We've got our dog food tin. And what we want is we want that to go down over it. There we go. I want to push this down until the holes appear in the tin. Okay, so you can see the setup there. I'm just going to square it off a little bit. Now I know this doesn't look like anything, right? But essentially it's the workings of a waste oil burner and I'm going to show you how it works. Here we go. So anybody following the channel for a while will know that I made one of these a few years ago. Um, the problem was the audio was terrible. I didn't have the equipment I have now for making videos. I wasn't sure I wanted to keep making videos. So um, we have a decent camera now. There's a Sony a6400. I've got a Rode video mic and all of that sort of stuff. So the audio should be better. <laughs> so all the air for combustion has to come up through this plate. I have the, the stove plated. So I just literally, I've got a piece, a lid, cut it a bit smaller than the inside, forced it in, and I already had drilled a hole in it, or cut a hole in it. So this sits over the hole, and all the air comes in through this bottom door, if you can see it. Um, the air goes in through this, goes along underneath, and comes up there. It can't get in any other way, okay? Now that's the secret of this thing, that's how it works. Now if you want to see how the drip feed system is made, I'll put a link up here. Okay, so the drip feed system, very, very easy. And uh, I'm going to show you the whole setup now. So we've got our dog food tin biscuit tin combo. That's, this is a burner now. When we're making this one for real, it'll all be welded much heavier steel. But anyway, look for now. Just put it in through there and I have to put it under a drip feed system. Look, so that's it. It's sitting on, um, on ash. 
Now, there's a reason I did that, because I want to just push the ash around it to make sure that all the air for combustion comes through the tin. So that's it, simple enough. So I'm just going to pull a bit of ash, you know, to the bottom of this, like that, all the way around. Okay, like that. Now, obviously, if this was steel, you know, it would hold its shape. It wouldn't be a problem. But because it's a flimsy biscuit tin, um, it's not going to want to do that when we start reddening it. This is a car brake disc. Now, I'm going to put this on top of the tin, the, the dog food tin, like a hat. And the reason for that is when we start burning stuff in there, it'll concentrate the flame. The flame will be bounced back into the tin. And um, it just gives us a more vigorous, um, you know, combustion. So the front is cut out of that from a previous project. Doesn't matter, it could be, a, you know, a completely normal rotor or brake disc. So look, I'm just gonna drop that in on top. So that's it, that's a simple waste oil burner. It'll run all day, now when it's made out of steel, obviously, and not biscuit tins. But it'll run all day, makes no smoke, makes a ton of heat, and uh, will burn two, three liters an hour, something like that. Um, you know, about three quarters of a US gallon an hour, I suppose. But for that, you get an absolute shit ton of heat really so that's our waste oil burner in now we're, we're ready to light this but i'll just show you the setup on the drip feed system now this is a half inch gate valve with a little modification made to the gate i'll put a link in the description below how you did that i have a video on that this is just standard half inch pipe this is, is a malleable rnt gbt we call it so it's just a t-piece and i cut the front off it and drilled a hole through the back and it's just to make a sighting you know so that you can see through it and uh, you can regulate then the drip. You know, you can see whether it's a you know a stream, fat stream, skinny stream, drip, whatever, you know, and you can control it because you can see it. So that's what goes into the pipe, and whatever goes into the pipe has to drip out of the pipe as well. Okay, that goes along here, if you can see it. I have a half inch lever valve. That's just so, you know, I can switch it off independent of this one, if I want to move the bucket. So this is kerosene, don't use petrol. You can use these lighter. Um, I'm just going to squirt a bit of this in, we're going to light it and we're going to drip the oil in. It's as easy as that. So look, squirt a bit in. You know, if some of it goes down at the bottom, no biggie. Okay, this is just temporary, it's just a prototype. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this may or may not work, but uh, I'm more than hopeful. Okay, so we've got that going. When I close the door here on this, all the air for combustion will get sucked into the bottom. Right, let's close the door. When I close the door, there should be a change in the air. Yeah. There we go, you can hear it. And you can see it as well. Right, I'm ready to let oil into this now. Now, if I open the door, that'll stop, watch. See, that's what we've got going on in there now. If I close the door, you'd swear there was a fan on it, and there isn't. So that's it, we've just made a waste oil burner. You can make a waste oil burner out of just a dog food tin and a sweet tin, no problem whatsoever. And look at the flame on it. This thing can be red hot now in a few minutes if I let it. So uh, my GoPro is very close to the flame, so I want to move that back now. And it's already, I can feel the, the heat here. But um, you can see it runs really, really well. So there you go, there's a waste oil burner made with a scissors and a drill, made out of a biscuit tin and a dog food tin. And look at it, it's working great, throwing out a ton of heat. Um, that's just a prototype, it's not going to last very long, it needs to be made out of steel. But it just goes to show how easy it is. The stove, you know, once you play it off the bottom of a stove, any stove could do it. Don't do this at home, this is just for information, just for um, education if you like. So look, I'm going to leave it there for now. If you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here, that'd be fantastic. Numbers are growing, which is brilliant. So see you all in the next video. Bye for now, good luck.